Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. So you're probably wondering why I'm outside and it is a little bit windy, so I am sorry for the wind sound if you do hear it, but I actually got my camera with me and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some Funko Pop photography. So let's get right into the video. So guys, I'm just doing a quick shot because it is sunny today. It's an absolutely beautiful day and we're going to want to use as much natural lighting as we can. So first up, I'm going to go scout my location and I'll check back in when I get there. So guys, I think my first location is going to be these plants here. Now I haven't gone far. I was just up there like two minutes ago um, and along comes my cat over here. But I'm going to be taking out the child and taking some photos here. So I might use my camera. I'm not really sure yet. I might just use my phone. But first thing first for a beginner's guide for Funko photography, it's all about location. So if you have Grogu, you might want to put him beside some green plants, something that kind of corresponds with the character. So I'm going to go take a few photos and I'll come right back. Okay guys, so I snatched a few photos and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So I will show you guys at the end of the video, but now I found another location for the child and I really like how the light is coming through the tree. So let me just show you guys what I mean. So guys, here's the location. I really like how the light's shining exactly this way. So I'm gonna aim to put Baby Yoda right where that little divot is and then take some photos either spot on or kind of like at an angle. So I'm gonna go do that and we'll move on to the next Funko Pop. Hey guys, so now I am in the forest in front of my house and I'm actually here to look for a location for the monster from A Quiet Place for this Funko Pop. So I'm going to kind of just search around here and see if I can find something that's kind of like creepy looking and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so tip number two is to use perspective to your advantage. And what I mean is make your Funko Pop look bigger than it actually is within the photo. So I'm gonna show you what I mean right now with how my camera is placed and it'll make a little bit more sense. So guys, I have the camera set up here and this is what I mean when I say use perspective to your advantage. So if I can get this to focus, there we are. So as I am, I'm right on the ground, as you can see, and I'm pointing kind of upwards to the Funko Pop. This will make a really good um, composition. I don't know what my camera's doing now. It's just not focusing, but there we go. Um, so I'm going to snatch a few photos. I really like how this looks, as you guys can see here. A little sneak peek. I think it looks really awesome. So I'm going to do that, maybe scout out another area or two, and then hopefully move on to the next Funko Pop. Hey guys, so I actually decided to use this stream as another location for my photographs. So I will be using, if I can get it out of my pocket, I will be using this Funko Pop again. Um, so I'm just going to set up something in here i'm not sure what yet but i want to make it look kind of spooky and kind of epic hey guys so i am just walking to my next location and it's kind of like a drain pipe thing i don't even know what to call it it is super bright right now i can barely see myself um but yeah i am pretty excited for this one because i will be using one of my pennywise fungal pops and one thing that i didn't mention in my last clip is if you are taking photos near water, please be careful guys. I wouldn't want you to ruin your cameras or your Funko Pops. It's all up to you. It's the photographer's decision. So just remember that guys. And the only reason I'm telling you guys that is because this time last year, I was taking some photos of my Funko Pop and I actually dropped my phone, which I'm using to record right now. I dropped my phone in the river and Little did I know, I didn't think it was going to survive, but it terrified me. And I don't want any of you guys to have to experience that as well. So just do yourselves a favor. And if you are brave enough to do photos near water, go ahead and do them, but don't be silly like me. And guys, here's another quick tip. I actually brought a backpack along with me. The only Funko Pop I have in box is the child and all the other Funko Pops are out of box and I wrap them in paper towel just so they don't get damaged. But it makes it easier for carrying around 
doing this sort of thing. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Hey guys, so I'm at my location and I was about to take some photos, but I slipped. Luckily I didn't ruin anything, but I've decided I'm not gonna take photos here today. But that is one thing to remember guys. If it doesn't feel safe, then don't do it. So I'm gonna say no to that location today. I might move on to one more location for my Pennywise Funko Pop, and then we're gonna call the video done. So guys, unfortunately, that location was a little bit of a fail and I didn't feel safe enough to be taking photos there, hence why I slipped. I didn't want that to happen again. I didn't want to ruin my phone for the second time. Same time last year, blah, blah, blah. So now I am on my way to my last location of the day. I'm actually going over to my campsite, which is all the way through that forest. So I have to make a little bit of a detour to get over there, a safe way. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get over there. So guys, I made it over to the campsite, little cinematic shot for you guys. That's what the campsite looks like. Now I'm gonna snag a few photos of my Pennywise Funko Pop. I'm not sure where yet, but like I said again, I will be showing you guys all the photos that I've taken at the end of the video. Here's another quick tip, guys. Always think about your next photo session and what you wanna do. I stumbled across this little area over here and I think this would look great for Lord of the Rings Funko Pops, even with a Gollum Funko Pop. I think it would look really sick and I think I'd be able to come up with something quite awesome. All right guys, so I am sitting down because I'm kind of tired. I've been doing this for an hour and a half, but here's the last tip and then <laughs> I'm finally gonna get out of here. Last tip is don't be afraid to edit your photos. I think a lot of people need to know this and it's totally okay to edit your photos. It's kind of nice to have some fun with it. You can put a filter over your photos. You can increase the structure or the sharpness or you can decrease the brightness or increase the contrast, all that sort of stuff. I don't want to bore you guys, but just have fun with it. That's the main thing. And yeah, that just about wraps up today's video. I had a lot of fun with this video. It was kind of nice to get outside and do something a little bit different. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And let's roll the photos right now. Let me know guys, what is your favorite photo that I took in today's video? And please let me know if you guys go out and try this. It is a lot of fun, so I highly recommend it. As always guys, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.